Alright guys, we're off. The new journey continues. Bangkok has been great, but we are leaving. Look at this. Full backpacker style. If you were wondering how to dress like you look like you want to get robbed in Bangkok, this is exactly it. Forty, forty, forty. Kidding. Sorry. All right, so we're all out of the Airbnb, and we are now off to go grab some coffee, and then we're off to the new adventure. You guys have probably seen from the title of this video. But overnight train, and I thought I'd document it and share the journey with you guys. But let's go get some coffee. So we have come to Starbucks in this little shopping center I just found and I had to grab an iced latte. But I just came to the first coffee shop I saw because stupidly on the first day when I went swimming, I didn't wear sun cream. So my shoulders are absolutely burning when I'm carrying around both of them bags, which literally have my entire life on it. I can't carry them for too long. So I'm gonna sit here, enjoy this coffee mm. and then figure out how to get to the train station and go pick up the tickets as well and then catch the overnight train to Chiang Mai. Guys, we made it here to Chiang Mai. It is roasting. Look, we've got this beautiful rooftop pool. All right, so we're back in the room now. I went for a little swim, only for like an hour, and then my camera started to overheat, so I couldn't even record up there. Apologies for that, but that's just how hot it is here in Chiang Mai, Thailand. But plan of action is now, I've just recorded a market call for the community. It is 12 minutes past 12 here in Thailand, which is 12 minutes past six in London. In 40 minutes, the guys in London are gonna be waking up and I'm probably gonna be jumping on a Zoom call with them. So I'm gonna to go to a cool little coffee spot and grab a coffee, grab the laptop, and jump on a live Zoom call to see how the markets are looking. It's only Monday today, so not expecting too much to happen too early on in the week, but it's always good to jump on a call with the community and just have a general catch up, see how the weekend was and see what they're looking at for the week ahead. But let me give you guys a really quick apartment tour. It's not a huge apartment, nothing too exciting. I'm only here for two nights, so let me show you guys. So here, excuse the mess as well, I've literally just got here. Kitchen, living room, dining room, workstation, bathroom, and then this bedroom's actually really nice. It's got a lovely, lovely view. And then we come out here and we have beautiful balcony. It looks really misty because it's burning season here in Chiang Mai, so a little bit foggy. Surprisingly on the overnight train I actually slept really well. I had earplugs in and eye mask and I slept like a baby for at least six hours straight. Uh, one thing to note is if you get the overnight train here to Chiang Mai is bring lots of snacks and water. So I almost made the rookie mistake of not doing that and I watched a YouTube video of someone doing that and luckily they saved my life. So I just bought like water, a protein shake and then just a few little snacks. Just one thing to remember because there's nothing on the train whatsoever. I mean sometimes when I was there this morning people were coming around with like coffee and there were 
was one lady coming around with like full cooked chicken and I was like I don't really want to eat a full cooked chicken at like 7 a.m. but thank you anyway so yeah there's that now I'm gonna find a cool coffee shop get a bike there jump on a zoom call I'll see you guys there Alright guys, so we're back from lunch. Really, really good food there. Stunning place. The food was great. It had a really, really nice smoothie. Probably one of the nicest smoothies I've ever actually tried. The fruit here is, I don't know what it is, but it's just so, so tasty. Right now, we're going to go for a gym session. It is around 5 o'clock, so it is 11 o'clock London time. We're going to go for a gym session and then go hit up the pool. And then for the rest of the evening, tonight, I'm pretty much just going to chill. I've got lots of work to do on the laptop, and then tomorrow's going to be my main, like, touristy day. So, let's go for a gym session, and then we'll go for a swim. We're just having some dinner. I absolutely demolished my dinner here before I could even get the camera up just because I was super hungry. So we're gonna sit here, enjoy this meal, and then we're gonna jump on another call with the community um, and see how things are looking because it is 8 p.m. here, two o'clock London, and only 9 a.m. in New York time. So New York session is just kicking in. And we're about to look to absolutely crush it. But look, I just want to show you guys this. Look at these barbecue bao buns, and these look absolutely delicious. So, mmm, oh man, mmm, unreal. Mmm. <laughs> Gonna sit here, enjoy this. And this is the thing where you're, when you're working and traveling the world, every day isn't gonna be going out, exploring, doing all these touristy things because I have to work at the same time. Not that I have to work because this is what I love to do. If I wasn't doing this in the first place, then I wouldn't be able to be here anyway. So some people might see this and be like, oh my God, you're on holiday, but you're always on your goddamn laptop. But listen, I like being on my laptop. I like traveling, I like trading, I like talking to the community. So pretty much work during the week. Well, the nice thing about being here is I have all morning and all, most of the afternoon to myself, it's just the evenings where I want to come down, wind down and start working and trading for the evening. But tomorrow's gonna be quite a touristy day, so I will show you guys more touristy things to do in Chiang Mai. Morning, hope you guys are doing well. Welcome back to another video, so another day here in Chiang Mai, Thailand. The time is at 10 past eight in the morning. And this morning I got up at 7 a.m. I finally had a full good night's sleep. So since coming into Thailand, I've pretty much been jet lagged the entire time. But finally last night I got a full seven solid hours sleep and I feel absolutely fantastic. So first things first, before I do anything, I have jumped on a market call for the community. In London time, I believe it's only around 1 a.m. or 2 a.m. right now. So they'll have a market call fresh, ready for when they wake up. But for me, as it's only 8 a.m., I have like seven hours until the London session even opens. We're going to go spend the day doing some touristy things and exploring Chiang Mai because I actually leave tomorrow. So we're going to make the most of it. I have a tour guide that I met yesterday who's going to take me around um, and take me to all the cool spots. So we're going to go see some very interesting places and I'm hoping that she's going to take me to a coffee shop because I'm fresh up this morning and I haven't had a coffee yet and I really need a coffee so when she arrives we're going to ask her if she can take us to a coffee shop and hopefully she can find us some nice spots but I'm going to take you guys on a just a journey through Chiang Mai maybe you maybe you're not a trader you're new to this channel and you just want to check out Chiang Mai if you are new to the channel my name is Aaron I'm a full-time day trader swing trader and currently I am traveling around Thailand before then moving on to other destinations. So if you guys wanna like and subscribe and come back for some new videos, then I'd really appreciate that. But let's get on with the video. So we're gonna go downstairs and see if our tour guide is here. Hopefully she hasn't just not scanned me and just isn't turning up. Hopefully she is actually gonna be here, but let's go find out. All right guys, so first stop of the journey we've come to this incredible incredible viewing point you guys can't, probably can't see it well because it looks super foggy and these views are absolutely incredible let me show you guys halfway up the mountain we've just got this random little food stop here and then we just ended up on this beautiful beautiful viewing point but this camera doesn't do it justice unfortunately it looks super foggy but you can actually see all of chiang mai somewhat well <laughs> Guys, if you're ever in Chiang Mai and you're looking for a tour guide, you're the one for the job. <laughs> My name is Ping Pong. And how long have you lived in Chiang Mai? 47 years old. And you love it here? 
So right at the bottom of the trek down they have this really really nice little coffee shop. 60 baht for this ice latte. Mm. And this thing is so good. Thai coffee is the one. Look at this. Mm. Amazing. Right, so we're back had a super fun day out traveling around and exploring Chiang Mai such a cool city so much more laid back than Bangkok so it's a really really nice vibe I can understand why a lot of digital nomads come here and stay for a few months and if you're into that jungle vibe and more relaxed super nice coffee shops lots of good food for really really good prices is definitely the place for you to check out so after that I got dropped off at the coffee shop because I just had to do some work and I also jumped on a two-hour long zoom call with the community which was super fun and we've actually taken a trade on AUD Swiss franc but it's still hovering around break even so I'm not gonna show you guys that yet I'll wait until it has progressed and then I'll show you guys that and break it down for you and see how it's gone Maybe we've made some money on this trip. Maybe we've lost some um, But I will show you guys that as we get on so I've just got some food here to go um, I just have to do a few more emails on my laptop And then I'm probably just gonna go for a nice swim upstairs and then we may go out again this evening For now I'm gonna sit here eat this food enjoy some time and then I'll take you guys on the next part of the day wherever it may be Look at this, look at the pool to ourselves. This is beautiful, lovely. Alright guys, so we're back at the apartment, just packing up, getting ready to leave, but I just wanted to show you guys the AUD Swiss franc trade that we've taken before I end this video. So this is the position here, we're currently running shorts and we're looking to target all the way down here. So we're looking for a potential 4-5% to 5 move on this pair. That's it for today's vlog here in Chiang Mai. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, subscribe, leave a little comment and I'll be sure to catch you guys in the next one in a brand new video destination. So I'll catch you guys soon. Peace.